2006 at the World Transplant Congress, the participants were confronted with these banners from the Falun Gong, asserting that their people were being targeted in their execution as a source of organs for the rich to be coming to China to undergo transplantation. But I am saying that we must take capital punishment and execution out of the domain of transplantation. This is a vivid slide of what is at hand. If a Malaysian goes to Tianjin, China, Guangzhou, China, to Beijing to undergo kidney transplantation or liver transplantation, because there's an inadequate source of organs in Malaysia, what's the reality? Someone's being executed so that the organs can be available. My colleague, Jeremy Chapman, told me just before I came to visit that one of his patients had to run along quickly to get to China. And he said the patient called to say quickly, I have to get to China because my donor is being executed tomorrow. Here was a, in my view, quite despicable event, occurrence, where an individual, as the anesthetic, this is a media report, this individual felt acute pain in the left lower side of his abdomen. He fumbled. Unfamiliar folds of green medical gown, a gown traced his fingers over a bandage attached with surgical tape. There's an armed guard by the door telling him his kidney had been removed. How did that come about? He was abducted from the market with a promise of a job. When someone goes from the United States to India and puts an ad in the newspaper, as they did recently, and Dr. Ranjit knows about this, we both know. Is that person thinking about, where is the organ coming from? Is it a gentleman like this that was abducted and his organ was removed? Here's an internet advertisement for Israelis to go to Colombia, Medellin, Bogota, Cali. These cities have transplant centers in which there are hotels that are set up, there's an itinerary provided, and the patient can go to Colombia and within a very short period of time undergo transplantation. How can that be done in Colombia and why is it done in Israel? Transplant tourism is not just travel for transplantation. It's not just medical tourism. The difference is there's a donor source involved that makes transplant tourism unethical. But when it comes to transplant tourism, there's a donor source. Is it somebody that's being executed? Is it somebody that's being bought? Are they being coerced? We have responsibility and accountability to know where are Malaysians undergoing transplantation. And if they're leaving the country to do so, the government of Malaysia has an accountability to know about this and to provide organs for its citizens so they don't have to do that. And meanwhile, in Colombia, the other problem of transplant tourism is to say, if the rich are going there, what are the organs that would be necessary or able to be provided for Colombians? If the hospitals are involved in transplantation practice for the rich people to come, then they're not doing transplants on Colombians that might need those organs. And meanwhile, back in Israel, if Israelis feel that they can go to a country and have those organs readily available for them, why should they, why should Israel, develop a program of organ donation for themselves?